Hey Virgo, what's up and welcome to my channel. Well, not even really welcome to my channel. Well, I guess so, whatever. Anyway, for those of you that are new, hey, what's up? My name is Delilah. I really typically like to do makeup. However, I have just been so busy and I don't really have that much time between my two jobs to do that. So I decided to upload some different content. Anyway, for those of you that are new, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. This will not resonate with every single Virgo out there. So please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign because every single Virgo is not just a Virgo. Everybody has different zodiac signs and different placements on their birth charts. So please keep that in mind. If you're interested in learning more about that, definitely just hit up Google. That's how I started learning and I also picked up books. But if you do need more help, feel free to comment on this video or DM me on Instagram. I will link all of that information down in the description box. So let's see what's going on with Virgo for January 2020. Whoa, these cards are really popping out. I don't know why I keep doing this. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with y'all. Let's do one more shuffle. That was really bad. All right, this is going to be for Virgo. January 2020. Whoa. Okay, so the sun card tried to pop out. Two cards popped out. You guys only know I like to take one. But that is a good sign, though. Okay, the strength card tried to pop out, so I'll take that. So first card out, we have the Strength card. Whoa. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I think y'all have some suitors going on. That's just what I'm feeling right now. Then we have the Five of Swords. Interesting. The Ace of Swords. The five of swords, there's a lot of fives. I got two fives out on the table right now. All right, too many cards. The page of pentacles. Whoa, I got too many cards. And then lastly, we have the chariot. Okay. So first card out of the deck, we have the strength card. And this is represented by Leo. So this is about basically what the card means. Just having strength, having strength within yourself. Also being vulnerable. I really love the strength card because I feel like this just shows vulnerability. She's in this really slight, light slip. She's petting a line where he can like literally attack her at any point in time. And like I always say, yellow is a great indication of happiness in the tarot and it just means positivity all around. So I feel like you guys are just really just like maybe loving yourselves, but also being strong in yourselves and your decisions. You guys might have some love offerings right now. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is about moving love offerings. So maybe you're getting like cute texts from people. Maybe you have people that are offering you to take you out on a date. You know, just like really playing the field right now too in regards to your emotions. You guys also might be starting a new business venture as well or maybe a new job or a new position at work. And this is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is about... Basically, this is right before making a decision on some sort of money or business venture. So I feel like right now, I know from the previous readings, you guys were, I think, breaking up with somebody. So maybe you guys are moving on and just trying to get your life back together. And I really feel like you're leaving all the negativity in the past. This is the Five of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And like I said, this is about leaving things in the past, dropping old conversations, just letting anything that has to do with like, Ugh, arguments and just like being like wishy-washy I feel like you're just really dropping that right now and like I said air energy is always about clarity but the five of swords is about almost living in a fog and not really being able to see clearly so 
So I feel like right now you guys are letting things go. Do I feel like you guys are comfortable doing that? No, you guys are Virgos. You overanalyze every single thing. So I feel like whatever you're leaving behind, I feel like you really are trying to let it go. Because as you can see, like, you know, whoever you were dealing with, I feel like dropped their swords and they're like trying to move on and kind of grieve in their own way. I don't know if you can see the guy back there, he's crying. So I feel like, you know, whoever you were dealing with is also grieving, but now you're starting to release your swords and now you're starting to really like give into the universe. Because look, there's clarity behind that. Sometimes what I'm learning is like, I'm very big on clarity. I'm always that person where I feel like I need to know everything for me to move on. But as I get older, I am learning that sometimes you have to live in fog for a little bit to get the clarity that you need at the end of the day. And that's what's coming. This is the Ace of Swords, once again, air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is about clarity. This is about the ultimate truth. And this is about everything being shown in the open. There's not even any clouds in the background of this card. So you have truth coming or you're living in your truth. However, we still have the five of wands. So there's still some sort of conflict that's going on. It could be internally, but it could also be with the person you're dealing with. I really do count wand energy in regards to the five of wands as like internet beef. This could also be through text message. Like this is just like petty shit that doesn't matter. And for people that are curious, it's fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. But listen, I feel like you're really focused on your new business venture or whatever you're doing right now in your life. You don't have much, and this is the Page of Pentacles, so this represents like newness, beginnings. This also represents like young figures and young people. But I really feel like this is you right now focusing on the one pentacle that you do have because Virgos, you guys are starting over. And, I, and honestly, that is one thing I really admire about you guys is that you guys are not afraid to completely start from scratch and just like drop everything from the past and be like, you know what? I deserve a bomb ass life. I deserve to be loved the right way and I'm gonna do what I have to. I'm gonna be alone and, and you know, like have nothing right now and focus on my one pentacle and I'm gonna be okay. And you guys are moving on to bigger and better things. So we have the chariot and this is all about forward movement. This is Cancerian energy. And like I said, it's about forward movement. It's a, you guys could be moving somewhere new. You guys could be really just going on a new adventure. That's really what I just feel like for y'all. I feel like you guys are having some love offerings right now, but I also feel like you guys are mainly focused on your business and your money and your finances. And that is badass. Seriously, like that's badass. So let's get into the after tarot deck and we're gonna see what else is going on if there's anything else that spirit wants to tell us like maybe continue the storyline i don't know this is pretty dope this is really cool all right now what's the message for virgo this is going to be for virgo january 2020 what else is the message for virgo for january 2020 what's the message for virgo january 2020 And just a reminder, I do always shuffle when putting the cards back in the deck. So I don't want you guys to ever think that your cards aren't shuffled enough because trust me, they definitely are. All right, this is going to be for Virgo, January 2020. Virgo, January 2020. First card, we have the Five of Wands again. But you know what? This is good. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all why. Let's see. Ooh, okay. The Wheel of Fortune definitely tried to pop out, so I'm going to take that. Whoa. Okay, too many cards. The Nine of Pentacles. Awesome. Awesome. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Then you have the Five of Cups. The Seven of Wands. Damn, somebody won't leave y'all alone. Then we have <laughs> the Chariot. Y'all probably running away again. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you Virgos are always funny. So the, I'm going to give it to you straight. Like... Basically, boom, argument stopped, right? 
now you're starting a new cycle and you're moving on. You're being single. You're being a badass bitch. And then look, you got something new in your life, okay? Ace of Wands. What do I always say? This is like the hookup card. This is the, I'm going to give you that card. So you guys are being single, living your best life. You've left this person behind, okay? Period. Look at him drowning in the background. He or she. I don't know if you if it will focus, but there's definitely a guy drowning in the background. You guys left somebody behind. They're still mad about it. They're still trying to argue through text. They're probably still trying to call your phone. They're probably just being annoying. What all exes do when you decide to move on, take care of yours, and flourish on your own, they get mad and they want to bother your peace. And boom, you look at you. You're on your, literally, look at you. You're on your phone. You're literally like, I'm not dealing with you anymore. You didn't treat me right. I'm moving. I'm taking my black Rolls Royce and my white Rolls Royce and I'm riding out of here. And you, Virgo, you are being a badass queen of wands. And the queen of wands knows what she wants. She goes after what she wants. She plans for it, but she's also like feminine. Like she's sexy. She's alluring. She's been through it all. So she can literally just control the minds of any person that she wants. And she just uses the law of attraction. Like, honestly, Virgo, there's no need for me to go through all these cards because it's just like, you are really living your best life right now. And I just want you to know to keep doing that. Do not let anything else that's going on distract you from that. Keep, block them from your phone. I know you guys probably do like low key like the text message that they're sending you because I do feel like you guys are really in love with this person at one point. But you know what? The attention isn't worth it. Like cut them off, block them, be the badass queen of wands and go about your life. Virgo, this was a dope reading. This was all about truly like self-love and standing up for yourself and gaining that self-respect and dignity. And I respect all for that. I really do. So Virgo, that was your January 2020 reading. I feel like you guys are going to have such a great year. Just focus on yourselves. Focus on yourselves and everything will be great. All right. I'll see you guys in the next month.